Hello and uh, welcome everyone, Ragnarok here with part 4 of our Napoleon Total War Egyptian campaign as France. Things have been going fairly smooth for the most part. Uh, we did fight a tough battle at the end of last time uh, against the, uh, the, t the Ottoman Empire in the, uh, in the north here um, that did a real number on some of our troops here that it's going to take them quite a while to re replenish though I believe once these are repaired the replenishment will be much quicker um, so that's going to slow down our, our momentum a little bit but that's okay uh, the Bedouin have been mostly playing the role of nuisance and it looks like they're headed to Suez the Suez Canal next um, and so because they've been a nuisance I'm uh, I've Use the movement exploit to shimmy all the way over here to the Red Sea coast, and we're uh, going to start things off with Napoleon. Uh, attacking this settlement, I'm hoping that we can get the, the attack in. There we go. Good, good, good. Okay, okay, okay. We could auto resolve this. But I think we'll get a we'll just kick things off with a battle, start things off. That'll allow us, allow me to get into a little bit of the keys of Egypt, and we'll read some more from the book uh, by Leslie and Roy Adkins. So we're still on chapter one. Chapter one is freaking. Oh my gosh! I don't just flipping through this flipping through this i don't think we're going to finish chapter one to be particularly honest there's 40 pages in chapter one we're on page on page 19 anyone who's been following along with the uh with the readings um well let's see there's a lot of um hmm. Cavalry on that side. I'm glad that we're able to. They, I don't believe they have any artillery. The problem is this little this slope here. This is gonna prevent our artillery from landing their shots. I'm gonna position over here. Maybe on a bit of an angle. And then just three troops on this side with the cavalry. I don't think we'll... There shouldn't be too much use for the cavalry here. And then the rest of you just position over here. And we just jump into squared formation as soon as... Um, as soon as their uh, camels make the attack that is if they make the attack yeah we, we've got artillery so they should come at us I hope everyone is having a wonderful Wednesday afternoon my day I got actually got actually a ton of stuff accomplished actually earlier today now that I think about it which is a part of the reason why we're starting a little bit later than than what I have been but yeah I've been a very productive day so far yeah the camels seem a little bit higher than the than the regular cavalry so they make nice targets for the artillery face off this way in case they come in behind. Oh, that was easy. So it would make sense to stay in. What we got going on over here? 
uncertain what they're doing on that flank. But this flank, we're looking pretty good so far. All right, looks good. Um, maybe we can move the artillery up a little bit closer. Take a bit of a different angle. Move the artillery to here, maybe. Guys, ready to move? Move that. Right about there. Because I don't believe they're in range right now. Guys, move up. Oh shit, where are my reinforcements? Let's move over in that direction. One apart. Stay near the artillery. Reform their line. Yeah, you can. There. Oh, son of a bitch. I didn't even see this. Clearly. All back to the end. these guys. Maybe these guys can help you out. in behind there get some shots into their flank and stretch out a little bit more yeah the morale on the on the camels is so low let's move up that way let's get out of find the flank here Artillery in position. <laughs> I love the drums and the whistle. The troops moving. All right, let loose, boys. Better go into formation. Ooh. Camel gunners. I haven't seen one of those units. Keep them in square formation just in case they charge. But they'd probably be better in a line. 
But if they charge the line, then they'll smash them. Some more camel gunners on the opposite side. Artillery's doing its work. Almost got them. It seems these guys have a little bit better morale than the other units. Good. Alright, fall back. Let's get in line. Alright, they are moving forward. Good stuff. Alright, let's read a little bit more of the Keys of Egypt, the obsession to decipher the Egyptian hieroglyphs by Leslie and Roy Adkins. By the 9th of July, all the surviving troops had reached Demanher, and Napoleon led the combined force to Al Ramhinia on the Nile River. Although at its lowest annual level, the Nile was still a substantial body of water, and the soldiers became hysterical with joy. They threw themselves into the water and reveled in it for hours. Some died from drinking too much too soon, after suffering so long from thirst. From here, Napoleon moved up the Nile to investigate reports that a force of Mamluks under Murad Bey was approaching the town of Subrakit, eight miles to the south. A heavily built, cruel, and cunning leader. Murad Bey lived for, a, for war and never admitted defeat, despite never being victorious. Napoleon was accompanied by a flotilla of gunboats on the Nile that had been requ requisitioned as, transport, as transports at Rosetta and were designed to counter the Mamluk gunboats reported to be with Murray Bay's army. They also functioned as transport for non-combatants including Gaspar Esmonge, Claude Louis Berthold, Pauline Cleopatra Forthos. DM a Wyvern says no pie for you, Raggy. You did not dagger fall with me. We, it's, I know, we haven't dagger fall. Maybe this weekend we can get it done. Um, I've, it's there and I've been wanting to do it. Um, so, I guess I should be paying attention to the battle here. Look at this, these guys throwing their swords in. Yun Soggy says, hi Ragnarok, how are you? Oh, Yun Soggy. Helga, a, aka Helga, I uh, I was watching your video with the pyramid creation, and it was pretty freaking crazy. I had no idea it was that intricate. Um, the building, pretty cool stuff. Weirman says, what about Kingdom Come Deliverance? I took a little break from Kingdom Come. I'm not sure. I'm probably going to go back to it. Maybe a once a week kind of thing. But I don't know uh, about Kingdom Come. Son of a bitch. My artillery. I guess I should have been paying attention to the battle instead of, uh, instead of reading there. These camel... See, that's what I was saying. These camel gunners... They ripped apart my guns here. One of my gun units took quite a bit of damage there. Or my, my artillery. <laughs> Wyvern says, yow, at Yunsagi. But Wyvern, I'm thinking whenever, whenever the two of us have a free moment, um, that's when we'll do the... Um, the dagger fall. It's ready to go. It's loaded up. It's ready to go. Um, you know, whenever you're ready for it. But I'm thinking, I'm thinking a Saturday night when you're free, when you don't have anything else going on. They got knocked off their guns too. Units has used all its ammunition, sir. SHBLL says, hey Ragnarok, how are you? How's this battle going? Uh, the battle is not going so good. Um, 
to be perfectly honest. I was, um, I've been doing some readings during the battles because the Napoleon battles are a little bit slower. So I thought the situation was well, um, well in hand. And I read a paragraph from, uh, from, from this book that I've been reading. And uh, meanwhile, my, uh, my gunners were, were getting uh, smashed up over here. So we lost, we lost uh, some of our artillery troops. Unfortunately, our artillery guns. But aside from that, I would say the battle is going pretty well. Yunsagi with lots of treats in the in the chat. Thank you very much, Yunsagi. But yeah, Kingdom Come Deliverance, Wyvern, you're the first one, first one to ask me about it. So, I don't know. I don't know. Wyvern says, liking lurking while working. Have fun, everyone. All right, Wyvern, don't work too hard, my man. I know you're always hard at work, so try to take it easy a little bit. But we'll definitely get the dagger fall going sometime very soon. Just wanted to come back with, um, you know, something a little bit more familiar to me, the, uh, which is, of course, the Total War games. Just about got this. All right, do I dare read a little bit more of the, the book here? The French reached a Subet Kit on the 13th of July and for the first time confronted a Mameluk army. Although the Mameluks relied on cavalry, they also had a force of infantry consisting largely of Egyptian peasants armed only with clubs. French infantry formed up in squares with cannon at the corners of each square and what little cavalry they had was placed inside the square for protection. Puzzled by this formation, the Mameluks nevertheless expected their usual headlong charge to be effective. Mameluks were seldom captured in battle, relying on the speed of their attack and retreat. They were either victorious, retreating rapidly, or dead. Heavily armed with scimitars, javelins, maces, battle axes, daggers, and car carbines, and often carrying several pa pairs of pistols, the Mameluks were also richly dressed in brightly colored silks and muslins, and each carried his personal fortune in coins and jewels. Their method of fighting was to charge, first firing their carbines, and then their pistols, which they tossed behind them to recover the uh, to be recovered by their servants. Throwing their javelins, they finally attacked with a scimitar, and some of them even gripped the reins in their teeth and used two scimitars, one in each hand. Styric Shadow Wolf is here. What's up, Styric? Uh, good to see you, mate. For several hours, the Mamela cavalry circled the French squares looking for a weak point to attack, but they only charged when the two opposing flotillas of gunboats started to exchange cannon fire. Once within range, the barrage of cannon, musket, and pistol fire from the French squares repulsed the Mamluks before they could do any damage, and after about an hour, they retreated to their original positions. Meanwhile, the French gunboats had been getting the worst of the battle, and even the civilians had joined in the fighting. Napoleon ordered his troops to assist the gunboats, and soon after, a cannon scored a direct hit on the flagship of the Mamluk flotilla, which was destroyed in a spectacular explosion. This drew a burst of historical laughter from the French, and the Mameluk cavalry turned and fled, followed by the rest of the Mameluk ar army. I think we just about got them. It's just this one... Oh, there's two units. I think that's it. Good stuff. Styrix says, hey, Rag, I've been playing this myself. Picked up a couple of days ago. Very nice. It's, I, you know, it's, it's always, it's, this one is one of my favorites to come back to. Um, I don't think I could play it for like a really long time, it, it, you know, um, but I always really enjoy coming back to it. Um, 
This guy can get in there. This guy cannot. SHBL also says it happens occasionally that we do several things together. You have to pay attention to the direction of your guns are firing at. <laughs> yes. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. Yeah, we took a fair bit of damage on a couple of the line infantry, but and cannons, but for the most part, we're okay. All right, so that clears up the threat from down here, but we do have this army. What's uh, what's the public order like? Oh man. Um, I'm gonna exempt this region from tax. We have any um. I'll repair that. Hmm. I'm gonna have to leave a small force behind there. I think every everywhere else is uh, good for public order. Derek says, "Yeah, I'm kind of liking it. Yeah, man, it's a great game." Um, and I love I love these um, these smaller campaigns too because uh, for me I'm not super familiar with with Napoleon with uh, the mechanics especially the older Total Wars anything before Rome too I'm not necessarily familiar with the mechanics so these these mini campaigns are nice little introductions um, to the game. All right, so we've got a small uh, we've got a minor problem here. We could get you here in two turns, but um, yeah, the question is, should we spend, send a small force back to defense Suez? So as canal, we've only got um, we don't have a lot there. It's an army of most likely camels and just these uh, these peasants. Or we could just let them take it and have Napoleon take care of that when he makes his way up there. But it's gonna take a number of turns to get up there. Oh my God! How many turns is that? One, two, three, uh, four, and it's going to be all attrition as well. It's going to take them like five turns to get up there. Votre humble serviteur. Is there anybody who's in decent shape here? I'm going to move you out of the settlement. Um, these two, leave you behind. Leave all those guys behind. And, though we don't have any guns, any artillery. Should I take the art? Oh man, I don't want to take the artillery. Hmm. Artillery will slow them down as well. Yeah. Let's send him back with that force. Um. And then we'll just replenish here. Napoleon. Unless we use the movement exploit, it's gonna take Napoleon five turns to get catch up there. Frickin' uh, the Bedouin are just so, so obnoxious. Gotta re remember to um, turn the taxes back on there. But I think, um, I think we're pretty good. Yeah, you should get there in time. Can't reach it just yet. Let's just hope the Ottomans don't, um, don't attack us in the meantime.
But yeah, the good thing is Mamluks as a faction are destroyed. So we've only got three factions that were um, that were at war. Let's take a look. Desert attrition. Damn it, that message. I wanted to read that actually, but oh, this guy suffered attrition. Yeah, it's gonna be attrition the whole way. Holy shit. I think we're gonna have to stay foot here for a couple of turns. Um Yeah, there we go, we're good. What if we exempt it from taxes? Even exempting it from taxes is still bad. Alright, stay put in there. Um, and all we can recruit here is camels. Structure construction. Maybe it was a bad idea to come down here. Alright, technology? We, what do we want to research next? Enables infantry fire in advance drill. Fire, oh, fire in advance. Oh, that actually be quite useful. I thought I did this one already. But a fire in advance sounds pretty good. Oh, I think we're... I think we're researching both of them at the same time. I'm not sure. No, a little bit confusing. All right, yeah, get you guys in here. Yeah, once this is repaired. Yeah, see, we're replenishing much more quickly now, so that's good. Um, oh, this army. Okay, that's only a small army. How big is this army? All right. Yeah, I think I think we're I think we're safe. He's got to stay with these guys so that they get replenishment. But yeah, we're getting replenishment fairly quickly. All right, next turn, I'm going to take the artillery and Napoleon and however many troops that I can take. I probably should have done that this turn. I didn't think of it. What are we... What's our... Yeah, our income is pretty low. some more line infantry Monsieur? all right I think we'll be all right here we got for armies up here all right we're gonna run into some pretty big resistance against the Turks Early September 1799. So we're starting, the, the clock is starting to tick a little bit here. Winning the battle at Surbert Kit raised the morale of the French troops for a time, but Murad Bey and his army had escaped. The grueling march towards Cairo was resumed, and the slow attrition of the French forces through a heat stroke, thirst, and suicide continued. Um, I'm going to auto resolve this one. Mmm, damn it. Turned out to be a mistake, auto-resolving it. On the 20th of July, as the French drew near to Cairo, 
They learned that Murad Bey had concentrated his forces on both sides of the Nile de Embia, just north of the city, and the next day, after a 12-hour march, the French reached Imbaba at 2 in the afternoon in the worst day of the heat. In the worst heat of the day, sorry. Okay. All right. Public order seems okay now. Ooh, as soon as we move out. There we go. Have to keep it exempt from taxes and Napoleon. Start heading north. Yeah, let's finish off this army here. There we go. The auto resolve was a lot more favorable that time. The first one, we should have fought. I should have fought the first battle, but anyway, what can you do? Back to Suez. Shit. All right. Public oh, orders fine. One, two, three. Oh man. We might have to leave a force here at Suez to defend against uh, against these. But I'd like to get that's a big army. I'd like to get replenished before we engage with the uh, the Ottoman. But we're we're replenishing quickly, so that is good. A couple more turns and we'll be back to full strength. Yeah, the Star Fort. Too expensive to repair. 3300. Anyway, that's okay. Wondering if, um, yeah, we'll just keep them there, They're helping the public order a little bit. All right, yeah, I think we got the public order under control, and it didn't cost us too many troops to leave behind. Probably should have used the, should use the movement exploit to get through this uh, desert area. But I can't, I don't know, it's just so tedious to use. I don't think it's uh, particularly enjoyable. The pyramids, some 10 miles away, were visible in the distance, and so the battle became known as the Battle of the Pyramids. In his memoirs, Napoleon recorded that he addressed his troops and pointed to the pointing to the pyramids said, Soldiers, 40 centuries look down upon you. All right, we got a... Ah, oh man, I wish they were attacking... This force. It's gonna be a tough fight. Wait, what? Did I just hit the, uh... Son of a bitch. I didn't mean to auto-resolve that. I wanted to fight that one. Son of a bitch. In his memoirs, Napoleon recorded that he addressed his troops and pointing to the pyramid said, Soldiers, 40 centuries, look down upon you. It is doubtful whether many of the troops would have understood or cared about the significance of the pyramids. But in any case, the soldiers were deployed over such a large area that only the fewest few nearest Napoleon would have heard him. 
This was more like a remark to his officers rather than an attempt to inspire his troops with an appeal to their supposed desire for a place in history. Well, I, at least the auto resolve gave us an okay result. Back in there. Another small force. The Bedouin are just freaking obnoxious as heck. Hmm. Change this. You can go over there. It was in bad shape. I think that's about the, about the freshest. Oui. Oui. You guys pop back in there. Marche. A vos ordres. Cavalry worries me a little bit, but let's fight it out. We've got a little bit of a high ground here, a little bit of a deploy our artillery. Where do they have their, can we see where their artillery is? Wow, well, we can't see too much. Probably stretch this out a bit more. Be okay there. Oh, there's their guns. We have, uh, do we have range on them? Hmm. Then we can take their guns out with our artillery. Time, let's move the cavalry up. Maybe we can get these guns on the corner. Uh, just at just outside of our range. But they don't seem terribly accurate. Oh my gosh, obliterating that cavalry unit. 
Let's see. Square. There's got to be more cavalry around. They have like four units of cavalry, so we could be hidden in the trees here. Go, go, go. We got here. This is what I was worried about. Damn it. Lured into a trap here. These friendly fire shots. Let's move up. God damn. So much for my cav. Our men are running, sir. Yep. Guys, uh, target there. Our men are running. Yeah, fuck. Dang it. We may have to push forward with our infantry. So let's do that with you guys. And let's push forward with this flank as well. We're just, they're just out of range of our guns. We can move our guns up. <laughs> Savalon says, go get him, cowboy. Go get him, indeed. You guys move up. Ooh, man. This is our first... First battle with the... Um, first live battle with the Ottoman. Cleaning up the remnants of this army. But it's tough if you don't have that cavalry advantage. <laughs> Which we did not have here. Artillery is rushing us. Alright, you guys move up now too. Yeah, it's just mostly their cavalry that they have left. Oh, 
keep moving up, boys. Ah, shit. I caught one of my units on the edge there. Everybody get in square formation. Come on, boys. Yeah, I would have loved for my cavalry to have survived. Get in there, boys. That canister shot is going to rip you to shreds. Go, go, go. Alright, a couple artillery pieces taken down. Guys, yeah, get moving this way. I think we've got their cavalry. Their cavalry charged into these guys, I believe. It's a matter of taking out their guns now. Glorious victory! Glorious victory. Oh, we took more damage than I would have liked. We're not yet ready to go on the offensive against the Ottomans. That's the problem. Saw so says, take care, everyone. Sorry, I start work in 10 minutes. All right, Saw, so have a great day at work, my friend. Some cavalry charge in here. Our men are running <laughs> Yunsaki Yun says, have a nice day and don't work too hard, Saw. So. Yes, indeed. Never want to work too hard. Can you guys uh, focus on the general, maybe? We're gonna get friendly fire here. Come on, give me some shots. Gotta break this unit and we're good. And we took a lot of damage. It's running this unit off the field. We could send our general to catch him. Six of them left. Take him down. There we go, we got him. Yeah, I don't know. We're going to need to replace those cavalry units, unfortunately. Uh, they are replenishing quickly, but still. We lost 584. Oh, we lost more than they did, actually. Hmm. Hey. Um, I'll let him go. Alright. They put there for now. Just to make sure we're not under... Oh, man. Could merge up some of these units. But we've got a full stack here within range. Hmm. I don't know. 
fucking shit. These guys are in a bit better shape. Ah, shit. Just trying to reorganize the armies so that um, the the ones that are in the best shape are in his army, just in case we get attacked over here. But anyway, everyone's replenishing, and I just want to stay a little bit out of their range. Or at least try to get out of their range, but it looks like he's got enough range to hit us. We are recruiting. Oh, we're not. Let's recruit some cavalry. I don't want to take that out on head on. While we're damaged like this. Uh, though, uh, fuck. Yeah, no, we'll just stay here for now. Man, we're in bad shape. Our... We're only making 869. I wonder what would be if it would be quicker to disband so merge some of these units and recruit new ones. We need Bonaparte back to the front lines. And these Bedouin are just obnoxious. Yeah, not too far from the victory conditions. And I mean, we've it's early October 1799. We have till the end of December uh, 1800. So we've got we've got a number of turns still to be able to get our objective done. I just hope this army does not attack us while we're while we're in bad shape. But I think we can hit the end turn. The United Channel says hello. What's up, Mark? How are you, brother? Oh, I was really hoping to be able to auto-resolve this. But, uh, we may not even win this. What's up, not much? Just playing a little bit of Napoleon Total War. As per uh, what we've been playing this week. Things are not going super well. We keep getting attacked. And uh, we are uh, we're in bad shape. Let's back up over here. This guy's... Um, keep you guys in behind in reserve. United says a life is good. Well, that's... That is the most important thing, right? Living the good life. Uh, corner camp ish here. What are they doing? I would love for them to attack with their camels. Fast forward a bit, see what happens.
Could maybe get their general. Let's uh, try and see if we can do that. Problem is we're... Uh... Oh, actually the balance of... This is the first time I've seen the balance of power in the battle stronger than what the auto-resolve balance of power has been. Very interesting. See if we can take out these camel gunners and then... And then go for the... Um, go for the general, maybe. I don't think these units carry... Um, carry guns. I think they're only carrying swords. To be honest. Over here. Come on, go, 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 go. And getting in behind would be fantastic. We can get around them here with our cavalry, but we've got to be careful because if they charge into our cavalry, our cavalry is not going to last long. Try and get a couple volleys at distance. Benji Briggs says a sup here. Benji, how are you, brother? We're in a tense, tense battle here. We've got a very depleted force against some uh, some Bedouin Bedouin enemies here. Defending the uh, Suez Canal. Or, well, Suez. I guess the canal hasn't yet been built. Alright, get in behind there. Let me take these guys out from range. There we go, that's what I wanted. What are you guys doing? Oh shit, they're gunners. Camel gunners. What are you guys doing? Come on, give me another volley. There we go. Come on, boys. Seriously. What are we waiting for here? Man, the reload time. Gotta charge in. I don't know, the camel gunners, they shouldn't be as strong as the, the regular camels. We've got two units here, we should be able to take them out. Yes, there we go. All right, let's go see if we can get the uh, snipe the general. Stay away from them. Hopefully our units hold up against them. Benji says, "Bit tired, just stopping by for a minute before going to bed." All right, Benji. Thanks for thanks for popping in. I appreciate it. Always good to see you. Hope you're not working too hard, but I... On the sounds of things. Come on. Yes. Alright, charge in. Finish him off. Take out the general, then... Should be able to win this. Should have maybe got one more volley. Whoa! 
All right. We get the general. I think the general got away. Did not get the message that the general has fallen. Oh no, there he is there. Come on. Shoot him. Yes. Alright. Now what? Small problem here is... The, uh... Reform our line here. All right, what to do with the cavalry now? Uh, the problem here is we've got uh, we've got their cavalry making their way up here. Hmm. That hasn't affected their morale too much. Still got a little bit of ammo left on these guys. We should probably use it up. Sure. And it's going to square formation because probably. Guys, head over to this flank. Hmm. Interested in what our cavalry is doing. So we distracted a couple of their units. on this flank. Guys, come in behind. Benji says, if this game would look a bit more like 2K20, I'd totally play it. 2K20, eh? <laughs> I, I feel like... Um, we, we were talking about this the, the past couple streams, just what CA would probably be able to do with a game like this in... You know, with the the current uh, current Our engines and the current game engines, and again, it's awesome how they did the dust and fog in this game. Yeah, it's um, it's definitely a good job. Let's pull back. Oh man, I don't know. You guys, charge into them. Fucking camels. It goes our cavalry. Our men are running, sir. Hmm, I don't know. It says we're winning, the balance of power, but. Oh, 
glorious victory, sir, is soon to be yours. All right, yeah, their morale started to break there. I think it's just this uh, camel gunners that we got to take down. Oh, unfortunately, we lost again. <laughs> again, lost the cavalry. All right, that was a big win. We got reinforcements on the ways, a couple turns away still. Benji says, what do you think the next proper historical title would be? I would have a... Sh uh, I would love a Shogun, but uh, I think it's unlikely. My my guess is it's either um, either Medieval Three, or they're doing uh, World War One. I. Um, I don't know. Uh, Legend of Total War was had, had mentioned that the, there was some speculation that they might be doing a World War One. So, but my my best guess is I I, I would say probably Medieval Three is the next. Um, I wish I knew how much attrition, or sorry, how much um, how much movement. Looks like it uses up most of our movement. I don't want to suffer attrition. This army needs to get replenished. Though so, uh, we should leave a small force behind. Hmm. Yeah, fuck it. Let's go get rid of them, and then we'll start making our way back to north to Arish, North Sinai. Benji says, "Yeah, I also think Medieval Three. Yeah, I. I think that's the most likely. Um, I mean, a new Shogun would be awesome." But a medieval three, though, that spans the entire globe, I think would be pretty sick. And then 40k in like eight years, lol. <laughs> yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised if we see 40k um, coming after that. Alright, getting a little bit of replenishment there. All right, they did not make the attack. They're waiting for us to make the force move. I think we wait uh, a couple turns for uh, the rest of our forces to catch up to us. Uh, the nice thing is we no longer have to worry about anything, anything behind. Yeah. So if we we'll leave a garrison at Suez and Arish, and between these two settlements, we should be able to defend against anything that comes up here. If we see the British, if we if we get word of the. Uh, you know what? Um, let's recruit a sloop um, to just scout for the British. So if we if we see the British, we'll, we'll build a force here quickly. Benji says there's no doubt 40k will be a holy cash cow. Sooner, uh, the sooner the better. Yeah, um, 40k though. There's a lot of uh, a lot of 40k games out there already, so they might be hesitant. But yeah, with how successful Warhammer has been, I don't see any reason why they wouldn't. Um, aside from just you know the 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 IP being a little bit watered down, but they've done they've done a pretty good job with uh, with the regular Warhammer brand. All right, I think once we get healed up, we'll be in pretty good shape to move against the Turks. What's our, um, what are we making per turn? Yeah, probably be a good idea to, to start banking a little bit of cash just in case there's an emergency. 
Uh, Benji says medieval three with all of North and South America. Just imagine. Yeah, it would be it would be freaking awesome. Like that's that's what I'm hoping that we get a medieval three with the entire globe, um, and that you get you know that way you you'll have like tons of replayability options. Well, 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 well. The uh, thing is, they're going to replenish faster. Let's, uh, we go to here. Should be replenishing faster. What's the public order here? Public order's fine. Yeah, Napoleon's army, we might leave some of his army as... Yeah, they replenish much, much more quickly here. Yeah, if the British, if we get word, if we get, see the British coming here, we'll save this money just in case we need to recruit an army quickly. But I think we should be fairly safe for that. Um, I don't know how much building we should do now because the campaign is going to end in 24 turns. Well, 26 turns. Hmm. Yeah, we're almost back to full strength. I have an idea if there's any other armies around here. That's weird. They're. Their flag is tattered as if they've been in in battle. But yeah, I want to wait for the re I want to wait till these guys are fully recovered and I want to wait for a second general. Get over there Napoleon. We could just get Napoleon over there a little bit more quickly. Uh, you know what, let's get you marching. I think, I think we'll just carry the guns for Napoleon, and then the rest of this will leave as a garrison here in Suez. And we could recruit a couple more of these guys, but... Yeah, we'll recruit, a, recruit another one, just to give us a little bit more... Uh, just exempted. It's only 120 that we're making. Oh wow. The end turns are flying by. That was like a three second, not even a three second end turn. Alright, Napoleon's out of the desert. We could... It's tempting to, to send a force down here to eliminate them for good. But that would require the movement, uh, a little bit of movement exploity. Still suffering attrition. To recruit one more of these guys, and then we'll leave... We'll leave all of Napoleon's line infantry and the cavalry here, and then we'll take the artillery beyond. All right, how are we looking here? Um
All right, it's looking like a pretty good um, supporting force. Let's move to there. And then we've got a little bit of garrison left behind here. Ooh. Two full stacks. I wish we could see exactly what's in the army. I guess we have to infiltrate to do that. Infiltrate. 57% chance. Agent was detected whilst acting covertly on your instructions. He was managed to escape with his life, but has aroused suspicion towards your nation. Suspicion? We're already at war. What sort of... Su what more suspicion do you need? I think we might... I'm... Might put the man. That's a lot of cavalry. Might add the cavalry mm, to this army so that we can um, we can eliminate their cavalry. I don't like going into these fights with uh, without a cavalry advantage. Eight hundred and eleven. All right. Yeah. This is. But all we can um, afford right now. One more turn until we get our our sloop. And we've got a little bit of a nest egg. In case of an emergency. Alright, so. All of you guys are staying behind at Suez. And Bonaparte is heading north. I'll stay on the road. With his artillery. And meet up with the other two armies. Alright, let's... Let's see here. Didn't switch the last. All right, that should should be enough to give us cavalry advantage. Demand their surrender. Let's just take a look at what we might. What they might be able to counterattack us with. A pretty big stack there. Not a full stack. No artillery, interestingly enough. All right, let's do it. I think auto resolve was probably the better way. Like once you once you get like the the trouble with with this is this was before you can get two full armies on the field at once. 
so we don't get the full power of our um, of our forces here consolidated. Flat terrain for a change. Wow, completely flat. Look at the little house out here. I'm actually gonna put the artillery over here. Is there? Guys, move a little bit quicker. Same thing with you guys. Let's get into square. These guys are making a suicide charge here by the looks of things. them. Alright, you guys get out of square. Alright, it's a good start. What's happening on the other flank? Anything? Back up a little bit. Force them to come to us. Probably should spread my artillery out a little bit more, but then it's more difficult to to defend as well. Oh, we got another another cavalry unit suiciding himself. Like not much yet. Moving forward slowly. Can't wait to get the eight pound guns up here. Oh, increased range is nice. You guys could probably take him on on your own. Move back a little bit. Are you serious? That was annoying. They didn't get one volley off there. We would have got a volley off that would have been devastating. They're both there. Everybody's wearing green. How's it? <laughs> you can't tell who's who. 
But at least three units against one, we're still going to win out there, even though that we've got just got the... Um, the light cavalry. Try and sandwich this guy here. You guys could take out the general, that would be great. They've left behind a couple of cavalry forces in behind there. are okay for now. Yunsagi says, I have to leave. My bed is calling me. Have fun, Ragnarok. Thank you very much, Yunsagi. You have a great night. Have a pleasant dreams. And uh, thanks for hanging out here for a bit with me. Always fun to have you here. their cab. How are we doing here? Come on, shoot those canister shots. Ah, oh, Yunsagi, thank you. That's, uh, yeah, it's a real pleasure to have you here, to be honest. I... Benji says, yeah, my eyes are also coming down, so have a good one, guys. See you around. All right, Benji, take care. Stay out of trouble, and uh, try not to work too hard, my friend. Also good to have you here, of course. Yeah, see, they got into our artillery. comes their final cavalry. Having trouble with this guy. Going to square formation. We've almost got them. Can't seem to get them back on the artillery piece. There we go. Charge right across my line. All right, these guys are done. I think we almost got them. This was uh, this is a pretty fast-paced battle in terms of battles for this game. Let's go back into regular formation. All right, formed up in squares, the French moved out of range of the Mameluk's entrenched gun emplacements and provoked the Mameluk cavalry to charge. The French held their fire until the Mameluks were less than 50 yards away. When it came, the volley of fire stopped and the charge stopped the charge in its track tracks. For another hour, the Mamluks continued to charge the squares in vain, and finally fled back to their entrenched positions, just as these were being attacked by the forward troops under General Desax and Rainier. Confusion among the Mamluks turned into a rout, 
Murad Bey escaped with some of his cavalry, while the majority of the Mamluk infantry fled across the Nile. Marred only by the escape of Murad Bey, it was the overwhelming victory that Napoleon had hoped for, and troops and the troops spent the next week fishing dead Mamluks out of the Nile to loot their gold, jewels, and other valuables. The victory proved to be the turning point that Napoleon had needed to regain control of his disillusioned and potentially mutinous army. The next day, 22nd July, the leaders of Cairo sought to negotiate terms of surrender from Napoleon, and two days later, he entered the city. From landing the first troops at the beginning of July 1798, it had taken the French nearly a month to secure Alexandria and Cairo, during which time the British fleet under the command of Nelson continued to search the eastern Mediterranean for the French expedition. Horatio Nelson had entered the Navy in 1770 and served many years in the West Indies. Blinded in the right eye at Corsica in 1794, he had lost his right arm at Tener Tenerife three years later. Yet he was still a formidable rear admiral and a master of naval strategy. On the 1st of August, Nelson arrived in Alexandria and, on learning that the French fleet was anchored a few miles to the east, and with the wind in his favor, he immediately sailed on to Abu Khr. The French commander, Admiral Bruez, had placed the French transports and smaller ships in the harbors of, at Alexandria, but fearing the shallows and contrary winds there, he had anchored the largest warships, 17 in all, in a curved defensive line across the Abu Khr Bay. The French sailors were primarily concerned with finding supplies, and over one quarter of them were on shore, with some foraging as far away as Alexandria and Rosetta. Despite an appearance, of, an appearance of strength, the ships were only prepared for an attack from the seaward side. The guns on the landward side were not manned, and some were obstructed by stores and baggage. It was two in the afternoon when the leading ships of Nelson's fleet rounded the headland of Abu Khr. During the long search of the Mediterranean Nelson and Mediterranean, Nelson and his captains had found plenty of time to discuss tactics, and to the surprise of the French, the British fleet immediately prepared to attack. The French captains, at a conference aboard the flagship Le Orient, were forced to scramble back to their ships. By 4 o'clock, all 14 ships of the British fleet had cleared the headland, and the battle began just two hours later, with little daylight left. As soon as he realized the danger, Brez signaled for the men on shore to return and then prepare for battle, but his line of ships was anchored more than one and a half miles from the shore, and more than half a mile from the shallows that would have protected the landward side of the French fleet. The leading British ships took the highly dangerous gamble of sailing down the landward side of the enemy line ships, so allowing the British fleet to work its way down both sides of the French line, with two British ships engaged, engaging each French vessel as they went. The unengaged French ships farther down the line could do little to help. Whew, there we go. Had a little bit of... Oh. The Battle of Trafalgar. I believe it's Trafalgar. But, uh, quit battle, yes, that's what we're looking for. Alright, that actually went really well. I mean, 600 losses, but they lose 2,500. We will peacefully occupy. What's, uh... Ooh. That's the public order. It's uh, the nice thing about these um, these new settlements is the replenishment is um, is really good here. Hey. Hmm. Oui? One apart, a couple turns behind, catching it up. Got more artillery pieces. This we could. Uh, Potentially finish this up today. Damascus is the uh, is the main objective. We're a couple settlements away from that. But yeah, I don't think we're gonna go. Uh, we're definitely not gonna go for full map completion. I think I'm just gonna go for the victory. 
the uh, the victory conditions. All right, let's get you out here and um, and explore. We won't get too far away from the coast. But just get an idea where the British are, basically. Would be nice to build a navy and um, be able to take Cyprus, but I think that's going to be a little bit. And uh, there's a lot of um, a lot of settlements over here. I don't think we we would have enough troops to be able to because each settlement we take it's gonna need uh, some some garrison. Would be nice to get our income up a little bit better. Library house. All right, I think we're looking good for the turn. Ottoman on the move. All right, that was it. Yeah, this army should be enough to take on anything that they send over here, hopefully. Close to the coast. Actually, doesn't take too many turns. Oh, actually, well. Hmm. Guess we had. There's actually quite a bit. Quite a bit more to the see there than it was first expected. Alright, what do we got up here? Do we have enough movement to get to them? Oh man, look at the replenishment. Alright, anybody damaged? All right, let's take Pal Palestine first. Palestine, Palestine. And then we can hit that next turn. Ooh, we got a full stack here. Didn't see them. Let's uh, demand surrender here. The Ottoman, look at these walls, Mon General. Like the Crusaders before us, we have besieged and conquered. This city with ease. Our transport ships. Oh, I don't know. It's all random stuff. Or generic, not random. Could f repair the um, the star fort, but Wait for Napoleon to engage this guy. Good thing is he's getting replenishment now, and these guys are replenishing like crazy. We've got a pretty big sizable force. I don't think the AI will make the attack there, unless maybe they might attack with both forces. But I don't think they'll do that. Alright. Alright, 
All right, everything is looking good. There we go. Late December 1799, so we have exactly one year to finish the victory conditions, which were, were right next to I, it's surprising that this is part of the victory conditions because Napoleon never 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 conquered Acre and then Damascus oh we need to take Jerusalem the next big target mission issue capture the city of Jaffa Okay. This guy's just camping out here. I don't think he can reach Napoleon there. It's pretty close. See if we can get out here and find that British fleet. Now, obviously, if 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 we get attacked, we're gonna withdraw. I just want to get an idea if we're gonna be attacked by the British. Thing is, if we attack, I'd like to do two double attack. I'd like to attack this army and this at the same time, because if we attack this and then suffer some casualties, they could potentially come in and attack us afterwards. But if we if we attack both at the same time, then we should be okay. But I want to wait for the artillery pieces. I don't want to send this army in. Are we at full we're at full strength. Oh, that's amazing. That is freaking amazing. But yeah, and Napoleon is almost at full strength. So we'll have Napoleon take most of these. Yeah. We'll figure it out. But yeah, I want Napoleon to attack this army. And I want him to attack Jerusalem. So I think because of that, I'm going to wait wait one turn. But that looks like the bulk of their force right now. I don't know. We might, if we, like, if I were to hurry here, we probably could finish this off today. But, oh, here come the Bedouin. Big, big f freaking surprise. I just hope we left enough force there to be able to defend against that. Let me take a look here. What are we up against? Bollocks. And we've got some trash in here too. Hmm. They're not going to get there in time. It's too bad there's no mercenaries. God dang. If I've got to go back and re conquer Suez, I'm going to be really annoyed. That Suez is part of the victory conditions. How much terrain can you cover? Hmm. All right, well, 
Let's join Napoleon's army. Shit, I've got one too many. You... Exempt these two provinces from Hope these guys come with. The small army, but if this force can damage them enough, what's oh man. A couple turns away. Yeah, I don't know. That's just a freaking nuisance. Even though we... Oh, man. What I might do is with um, with John Baptiste, I might build an army and we'll send him down here to Sinai and take that. And then we can maybe take some of this stuff as well. Go back in there. All right, Bonaparte's got a new force. Ah, uh, we don't have quite enough movement to catch these guys. All right, make the attack next turn. How much are we making each turn? 764. I don't recruit. Oh, actually. Never. Ah, shit. We'll recruit some troops in Cairo. We could recruit some troops here. He's need, he needs a. Let's recruit them here. Or Fusiliers of the line. Alright, that'll be good. Alright, we'll make the attack on Jerusalem next turn. Do a double attack. Oh, forget about my agent. And I forgot about my boat. No sign of Nelson. Oh, they, they, I guess maybe I shouldn't have waited so long to attack Jerusalem. They've refortified it. Ah, uh, there they are. There he is. Let's see if he can catch us. Bedouin, the biggest freaking nuisance out there. All right, well, at least we know where Nelson is now. Head back down this way. Stay away from them. We're sieging it out. down here. Not going to be there in time. In an instance, I'm, I'm tempted to use the movement exploit just to be able to get the army there, but... Hmm. 
We, I mean, we might even be able to win that. To bring these guys up, though, that's going to be a little bit more difficult. All right, let's hit these guys. Hmm. 18 pound foot artillery. What kind of range do those have? A 19, 9 pound foot, foot artillery. We've gotten to the stage where we pretty much can auto resolve most of the battles, but it's better to fight them. Is this part of our deployment? Is this gonna work? Can't deploy on that. Hmm. Don't know if this is going to work or not. Something funny happening there. Alright, that should be good enough. I'd what I'd like is to deploy. Oh, it's kinda of tricky to deploy there, I guess. One apart. Hold up up here with the artillery. You guys just deploy here for now. get a nice position oh, that should be good all right while they figure out what they're gonna do let's continue with the land of Egypt uh, the keys of Egypt, the obsession to decipher the Egyptian hieroglyphs by Leslie and Roy Atkins. We're still on chapter one, and I don't think we're even going to get to finish chapter one. It's like a 40-page 40, 40 chapter. Ridiculous. All right, but we were where we left off, the, uh, the British had engaged the French fleet. The battle continued through the evening and night with each French ship being hit at least two broadsides ev for every broadside it managed to fire. On board the Vanguard, Nelson was suffering badly from toothache, and before the start of the action he had told his officers, before this time tomorrow I shall have gained a, a peerage or a tomb in Westminster Abbey. At about 8.30 in the evening he was struck in the forehead by a piece of iron, and a flap of skin hung down from the wound ever over his left eye effectively blinding him. As he collapsed into the arms of Captain Barry, he murmured, I am killed. Remember remember me to my wife. The surgeon on board convinced Nelson that the wound was not fatal, and after it was treated, he regained some of his sight and was able to go back on the deck for a short while, where he was where he witnessed the destruction of the French flagship Le Orient, which blew up 
with a flash visible in Alexandria and a blast that was felt up to 25 miles away. Captain Barry wrote that Laurian blew up with most tremendous explosion. An awful pause and death-like silence for about three minutes ensued when the wreck of the mast's yards, which had been carried to a vast height, fell down into the water and on board the surrounding ships. Free water! Good to see you, man. It says, uh, what's up, and uh, Ragnarok and Peeps, Napoleon, Total War, nice. Yes, indeed. We're playing the... Uh, the Egyptian campaign, which has been going pretty, there's, it's been going pretty well for the most part. A couple of snags here and there, but uh, we're we're getting close, we're getting pr pretty close to the victory conditions. I would say we're closing in, closing in on victory. The battle was a complete victory for the British, with only two French warships escaping. French casualties were considerable, 1,700 killed and 1,500 wounded, wounded, and the French also lost various stores that had not been unloaded from the ships, including equipment belonging to the savants aboard the flagship Le Orient. There had been gold, silver, and jewels looted from Malta during the voyage to Egypt. A French team of archaeologists was relocated, has relocated the site of the wreck of Le Orient and successfully recovered gold coins and a bronze plaque inscribed with its name as well as recognizable parts of the vessel and remains of some of the crew. How are we looking here? Freewater says, nice to hear. This one definitely seems a lot clean, cleaner than Empire Total War. Yeah, I think... Um, I, From what I know of Empire, it's... Um, like, the scope is much bigger in Empire, but it's... I've heard it's uh, a little bit on the buggy side. And um, and yeah, I think I think the uh, the battles are a little bit cleaner in this than they are in Empire. Another infantry forward. I think we should be all right. Couple shots hitting home. The destruction of Le Orient and other warships was the destruction of Napoleon's ambition of conquering the East. Although Napoleon put a brave face on it and still talked of leading an army to India, the French were now marooned in Egypt. They had, transported sh they had transport ships but no warships to protect them from the British Navy, which threatened their supply route from France. Much more significant than the military outcome were the political consequences, with the French expedition so weakened Turkey broke off negotiations with France and joined the, joined the alliance of France's enemies. And eventually a Turkish army would be gathered to march against the French in Egypt. The loss of the gold and silver aboard the warships was also a blow because rather than follow this, his usual practice of allowing his soldiers to live off the land, taking whatever they wanted, Napoleon was attempting to win over the native population by paying for everything the army needed. He was rapidly running out of money. Yeah, the campaign in Egypt uh, turns into somewhat of a disaster for Napoleon. Um, once the um, once the the fleet is destroyed at Trafalgar, they're more or less um, yeah like. Like the author was saying, marooned there, and um, marooned and surrounded by enemies. High ground here should give us the uh, all the advantage we need. The victory at Ab Abu Kur Bay was the greatest that had been achieved in the war against France and the first major setback for Napoleon, up to, the hailed, up to then hailed as invincible in French propaganda. Nelson became a British national hero and was heralded as Lord Nelson in the times of London, even before King George III had raised him to the peerage. Rather than the Battle of, rather than the Battle of Abu Ghraib, Bay, it became known as the Battle of the Nile, and Nelson became Baron Nelson became Baron Nelson of the Nile with an annual pension of 2,000 pounds for the rest of his life. Among many other honors and gifts that Nelson received was one of the macabre practicality from Captain Hollowed of the Swiftshire, one of the warships that had taken part in the sinking of the Low Orient. 
who present presented Nelson with a coffin. The, the letter from Holloway accompanying the, the gift began. My lord, herewith I send you a coffin made of part of the Orient main mast, and when you are tired of this life, you may you be buried in one of your own trophies. On the 9th of January, 1806, his coffin, which the body of Lord Nelson inside, was lowered into a vault in St. Paul's Cathedral in London. All right, how are we looking here? Looks like we're pushing them back. Yeah, the uh, the high ground in this has a... Oh, shit, these guys are getting ripped up pretty good. Um, it's pretty huge in uh, in the older toy in this game. Guys shooting back. And the trouble is their cavalry it looks like they're sending the general. I don't want to send my cavalry in because um, well, you guys could get into position over here. You guys could hit him. That would be great. I think we're getting a little bit of friendly fire here. Love the smoke, my goodness, never gets old. Trying to break through the center here. Know what happened there? charge here we go they broke pretty quick yeah it's gonna be difficult to get their artillery pieces because they're um Protected by their cavalry. How is this fight going? Trying to break through the center there. And these guys, I gotta be careful of those guys, they outrange us. Alright boys, form up. We might have to go, looks like we're going to have to go get their uh, artillery pieces. We're probably getting friendly fire here. You chase them down, make sure they don't come back. And you guys. Uh oh. Send in the cavalry forward. A square. Move up a bit. Shit, that guy's on his own. Let's move up. Alright, 
one cavalry unit down. How many more did they have? They've got two more over there. Hmm. Send the cavalry around, see if we can flank around in behind. I don't know how I ended up getting the Fusiliers of the line over there. Alright. Finally starting to separate the cavalry from the artillery. guys looks like it the artillery is smashing them Let's see if we can overwhelm them with numbers. Come on, get in there. What are you doing? Let's get into. No. Nope. Looked like they were going to attack, but they changed their minds. Let's come over this ridge. Shit. One of our units has used all its ammunition, sir. I don't know if we're gonna win out here or not. Taking a lot of damage, but you guys get down here. It's not looking good. Yeah. Fuck. I was hoping it looked like they were gonna charge the cab into our into our troops, but keep going. Go go go. Oh my goodness. My goodness gracious. Be able to mob them here. Yeah, we lost the cavalry. Though these units might survive, so. Not the end of the world. Guys, hold your fire. the general's bodyguard now. Got him. Almost. 
Come on, seriously? Alright, a good win. Would have been nice to take less damage. Ah, oh, we lost one of the cavalry units. 743. Uh oh. Got that. Weird noise again. Again. I don't know. I don't know what that noise is all about, but it's not the first time we've gotten it. A little, it's a little bug. Where's my agent? Idea. What's over here? I don't think there's anything. I think this was the the majority of their force here. We just took out a full stack, and then they've got a half stack over here. They've got reinforcements. One artillery piece. And we've got the cav advantage this time. Battle of Jerusalem. Ooh, oh my gosh, what are we fighting in a, in a sandstorm? This is going to obscure the battlefield quite a bit. Let's uh, take position. pretty good position back here and the cap wow this is a big cap force the artillery is up there I'm thinking we're gonna come around this way Take other two cavalry over here. <laughs> I think these, yeah, these units are just sword units. So, try and stay at range. Get in around behind them, come in behind and hit them, take out the general cavalry over there and the. The artillery piece. But they don't seem too interested in attacking our position.
fuck me sideways. Let's get hit by the artillery. Is that their general? be able to win out here though we took substantial damage from uh, from that artillery piece we have killed their general sir good good now good Oh my god. Alright, get out of here. Guys, get out of here. See if these guys can win out against this guy on their own. Go, go, go. Go, go. Oh my gosh. That artillery is deadly. Alright, you guys, see if you can get out of that mess fall back. I think we've more or less neutralized their cavalry though. Oh, not necessarily. There's one more cap unit up here. Let's go. Get moving. Wow, that... Cavalry did some serious damage to us. Holy shit. We're going to take this unit out. Got another unit back there. These guys survived. Just have you come back to there. And hopefully we can get the rest of the job done with, with these guys. Alright, they've run off the field. Oh my, even with a huge cavalry, I'm still having a hard time, but oh my gosh, they've got so much cavalry too. I don't know that we had the cavalry advantage here in this battle. Taking them on one by one. How are these guys? Very tired. Got a few shots off there, that was good. But if this guy comes over right now, we're gonna be in trouble. I think I'm gonna send you guys over to the opposite flank. The men are fatigued, sir, and must rest a while. Don't think we're gonna win out against that group. Yep. Yeah, it was just a one cavalry unit too much. I. Let's 
stretch out a little bit more. These guys hopefully hopefully can take on what's left there. Though their artillery is so far behind now that shouldn't really be much of a threat. At the moment anyway. Nice taking your sweet ass time. Lots of power is pretty close. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. God damn it, friendly fire. Why is this Why are you guys punched up like that? Like they might be trying to flank my flank us here. The men are fatigued, sir. I must rest a while. Looking good. The line infantry are pretty dependable. See if we can get up on top of this tower and get the, uh, the advantage. The high ground. And just take out that, that cavalry. They are getting around our flank a little bit here. <laughs> Trouble is our units are very tired, so they might not perform super well here. But the equalizer is the guns. God damn, they've got another freaking cavalry unit. My god. Come on, tell me we can take this guy down. Oh my god, are you serious? God damn it. We're not going to be able to take out that unit. Let's see if we can get in here and get a charge on the artillery piece. I don't know where this guy's going. Come on, quickly get in there. Ah. God damn, I brought six cavalry to this fight and it still wasn't enough to win the cavalry battle. Our men are running for us. The line battle is looking good. Looks like we got the art artillery piece. So that's a, that's a plus. That means we won't have to cross the battlefield to get that. And the cavalry unit should come over here and attack us, hopefully. 
Lion seems to be holding. are breaking but we've got we've got two cavalry units still still on the field I think they had one reinforcing cavalry unit which must be on the field by now guys move over help out guys coming back. Our men are running, sir. Oh man, it's turning into a bloody, bloody affair. Thank goodness the replenishment here is good. Get back up here. Glorious victories, huh? It's soon to be yours. Cavalry coming in. Where's the other cavalry unit? I swear they've got one more. This flank is really, really feeling the pressure. Got him. Whew. Wow, yeah, that turned into a real bloody, uh, bloody battle. Heroic victory still, though. Just surprising. Lost 864. God damn, there goes that noise again. And how did these guys get to retreat? They were inside the settlement. That's shit. Uh, it's only one dude. Oh, okay, it was the guy that was standing outside the settlement. Ooh, ooh. Jaffa, we gotta turn the tax off in Jaffa for now. May, uh... Jaffa... Some more line infantry. Uh, there's some more cavalry as well. But yeah, now it's a matter of us. Uh, I'd like to get back into this province to for replenishment, but. Leave behind. All right, there we go. And she back over here because I believe the replenishment is better over here. Uh, it's a little bit better. This province is where it's uh, it's the best, which is where we're going to send Napoleon. Yeah, we've conquered some more territory. How does that give us, how does that look for the victory conditions? We're right on the cusp, so the next territory, Acre, 
and Damascus. So two more, two more regions here. Damascus is their uh, is the Ottoman capital. All right, he's out of movement. Yeah, we might have to leave some small, small garrisons and increase our number of troops. Just one turn away there. Where's this guy going? God damn it. All right, let's fight it. Let's see if we can pull it off somehow. We need to at least do significant damage to them so that uh our general can retake it. These Bedouin are just freaking a nuisance. The whole campaign, just what a nuisance. But I guess it's that's historically accurate. Hmm. Like position in this valley here. You know what? No, let's take this high ground. Got no no general. fast we'll put the line infantry into square formation they're on the attack do they have to attack us but create a square essentially on top of this all right everybody go into square formation And see what they do. I don't. I don't know. These units are probably going to be pretty trash. But they do have guns. Guns against swords. So that is one. They are really taking their sweet time to move in on us here. Would have liked better to have these guys on the corners and then create like a, a real proper square. Let's see what the AI does here. We're outnumbered and quality wise, they've got a little bit better quality troops than us. Though these guys, none of these guys have, have swords or guns rather. Looks like they're gonna flank around with the camels. Camel gunners. What do we got down here? Camel warriors. Off. 
wonder if square formation will give them a little bit better um, advantage against melee melee charges. to find out. Guys come out. We might be able to flank them over here. So we get to their general. Oh shit, there's a lot of them out here. That's not a good sign. It's not looking good. God damn it. It's useless units. Freaking Bedouin. I should have left a, a bigger garrison here is what I should have done, but I didn't. I thought thought we had enough sufficient force here, but apparently not. God, what a nuisance. What a freaking nuisance. Our men are running for yeah, I don't think we really did much damage to them here either, unfortunately. There was just too many of them, and the quality of our troops was... These guys broke pretty much right away. Might have been a good idea to actually get these some of these units out of here and let them take it and retake it. Because now it's going to take me a little while to get a force together to retake this unless we divert more troops from the uh, from the front. From the eastern front. Yeah, they mowed over us. That didn't work at all. Decisive defeat. I think that's our first decisive defeat of the campaign. We had more numbers than them. Wow, that's crazy. They only lost 400. Are they going to attack this dude too? Oh no, they're just going around him. Where the hell are they going? What a nuisance. Only it's coming back to this province. You stay put in Jaffa for now. Monsieur. 
All right, so we got four new line infantry. Is this guy, he's within range to hit that. Hmm. Win. Can't quite get there next turn. Just want to shimmy Napoleon over just a little bit. We'll go one more time. Just to make sure he's got enough room to get over the next turn. We'll retake Suez with Baptiste here. Let's finally occupy. Um, and I think we'll recruit some more troops for him here in Cairo. Actually, you know what? Let's... Let's get two artillery pieces for him. What he's got for... Does he have any cavalry? He's got two cavalry already. Let's just go line infantry. And what I think I'm going to do with him is I think I'm going to send him down. Down here. Because it's, it's just super annoying dealing with these guys. Napoleon's going to have to come back and root out this army which is probably going to attack there go get eyes on if we can find Nelson where are you at But this front looks pretty secure. I think those two forces that, that we took, that we defeated, were the brunt of their army, but we're going to need more. We're going to need more troops to push up this way. What are we making per turn? 3100. We're making a decent amount. We can we can justify recruiting some more units. Gaza we're recruiting already. That should be fine. Yeah, we're getting pretty close to the victory conditions. Just these two. I think um, next next episode, next part will most definitely be the last part. Late February, but we gotta we gotta get going. We're late February already. Now look at these freaking nuisance. If you don't finish off the enemy army, they look at what they end up doing. The, the trouble they end up causing. Oh, Nelson caught us again. I haven't seen a naval battle. It wouldn't, wouldn't be bad to see one, but we're obviously quite overmatched there. Are they going to make the attack on Arish? Napoleon should be able to re-attack it next turn. Or retake it, rather. Uh, 
I will de I'll I'll surrender so that we can save those units. Impending campaign deadline. Uh oh. Impending deadline. We're getting close to a victory uh, victory condition. So, but I think this is a good place to leave it for now. We got all of Egypt, all of the south here. Um, the Bedouin are being obnoxious as per usual. But I think I'm going to build an army and send it down into the desert to uh, to get rid of them, to be perfectly honest. And, yeah, in the meantime, we are uh, we are closing in. These, these two settlements are the last of the final two settlements. Well, I don't think, um, yeah, definitely... Definitely not going to hit full map completion. There's a lot of, uh, a lot, that's a lot of terrain, unless we use the movement exploit. But I think that's going to be it for today. We will uh, continue this tomorrow, and we'll finish it off tomorrow. Tomorrow will be the, uh, the final part for sure, uh, whether or not we um, achieve victory or defeat. Um, I think the, the, uh, the calendar will uh, wind its way down. So thanks for watching, guys. I appreciate everyone who popped in and said hello. And uh, if you're watching this afterwards, I hope you guys are enjoying the campaign as well. The final part, part five, is next. Have a great day.